Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of CU training videos. I'm Dave Springford, your host for these videos. Fox One Corp is an authorized Navitor reseller and can also supply most of your glider related equipment needs. Check out my website at www.foxonecorp.com for all the manufacturers I represent and the products I can provide. The website URL is posted in the comments section below. Please subscribe to this Fox One Corp YouTube channel and if you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. In our first CU video, I showed you how to download and install the trial version of CU Desktop. CU Desktop is a native Windows application, and that will be the focus of this video. There's also a web browser-based version of CU that can be accessed from any device, and that will be the topic of future videos. Now that we've installed CU on the computer, the next step is to purchase the software and to register it. In your web browser, go to cu.cloud. CU subscriptions are managed through your CU Cloud account. It also allows you to store IGC files as well as Waypoint and Airspace files. If you already have a CU account, then don't create a new account now, but use your existing account details when we get to the registration step in a few minutes. For new users, I'll go through the steps to create your CU Cloud account. This can be done before or after you purchase your CU subscription, but it has to be done using the same email address as you used when you purchase your subscription. First step is to click on the sign up button in the top right hand corner of the CU Cloud screen. That will take you to the sign up page where you can enter your email address with which you registered the software, your name, first name, last name, and a password, and then finally click on the sign up link. Since I already have an account, I won't click sign up here, but what I'll do, and for those of you that also have an account, go to, on the CU Cloud, the login option in the top right corner. Type in your email address, your password, and if you've forgotten your password, there is a forgot password link here. As long as you remember what email address was used, you can recover your password and reset it. So we'll log into our CU Cloud account and the first thing that we can see, typically when we're on our uh, CU Cloud account, is we arrive at the dashboard. And so the dashboard looks like this, where we'll, uh, we'll take a tour of the CU Cloud account in a future episode. But for now, what we want to do is go to your name, look at your profile, and then go to subscription. And under subscription here, you can see, for example, my subscription is valid until the end of July 2020. It also tells me my CU Mobile license key. So now that we have a CU Cloud account, the next thing is to look at what is the CU Purchase option. And so CU, as the desktop software, is available for $155 US for any new installation or for $60 US to upgrade or to buy an annual subscription if you have a previous version. Once you've purchased the $155 new installation, you can then run CU for life on that subscription. The subscription allows you for 365 days to always upgrade to the newest version or the newest release of CU. Once the 365 days is up, if you continue to upgrade, then you'll end up being back in trial mode where features will randomly turn on and off. So to avoid this, you either want to purchase a new subscription for $60 or you want to make sure that your updates are turned off and that you don't update the software once you're outside your 365 days. If at any point you wish to purchase a subscription, just send me an email. Dave at fox1corp.com to place your order and typically I'll have your license activated by the next day. It's as simple as that. So now that we've looked at the fine print, let's take a look at how we register the software. So we'll open CU and within the CU window, we want to go to the help menu and under the help menu, there's registration. So in here, we want to type in the email address and the password we used for the CU Cloud.
So Dave at Fox1Corp.com and my password and we'll click register. The software will now go check against your CU cloud and as long as you have a valid subscription and an active cloud account it will find you. So you can see what it's done is it's pulled up my name it says it's registered to my Dave at Fox1Corp.com email address and it gives me the same end of July 2020 date for my free upgrades. So remember, this subscription, if you try and update the software after the end of that, you'll now be back into trial mode. And so, as I said before, you have two options. You can either upgrade your subscription for $60 for the next year, and that allows you for one more year to download the latest version of CU, as well as get access on Android and iOS devices to a CU application. Or you can just simply freeze the release or the version where you are and not upgrade any further and continue to use that version for the rest of your life. So that's the end of uh, the registration of CU. For our next video, what we'll do is we'll look at how to set up various options in CU and how to change the look and the feel of the software. Please like this video and subscribe to my Fox One Corp channel and visit my website at www.fox1corp.com.